Help me continue to create ad-free spiritual content by supporting me on Patreon. Depending on the tiers selected, you can receive one free lesson a month or access to a live Zoom meetup where members receive intuitive readings, attunements, and more. Every dollar really does help. Now, on to the video. How do I find out what I am for sure and how many powers can you have at once? Okay, here's, here's what's up. We have access to all the powers. I'm going to call these psychic receivers. We can call these intuitive abilities. These include clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, clairgustance, clairalience, and claircognizance. Also mediumship and all sorts of other ways to connect with the divine. So you have access to all of them. It's about turning them on so it's almost like a dark house when you first enter your house in the evening and you've got to start turning on the lights in the different rooms now the way to turn on the lights in the rooms when we're talking about intuitive abilities is not to go from room to room turning on the light okay i'm turning on my clairvoyance i'm going to turn on my clairgustance that's not how it works rather the way that you start powering up your mainframe or turning on all the lights in your house is to mind your vibration mm. specifically to be as high vibration or in alignment with source energy as possible and so to be doing things like meditation to be doing things like getting out into nature your practices your rituals and your disciplines knowledge study hanging out with people who are at your level vibratory uh, vibrationally speaking or higher hanging out with those people so that your energy can get higher and start turning on these various lights. So you have all the powers is what I'm mm -hmm. saying. And also you are all the power. <laughs> so there's two different yous that we're talking about here, right? We're talking about the Alexandra who exists in 3d reality, crystalline Compton and Trisha were here in 3d reality, but then there's the Alexandra crystal and Trisha that exists outside of this reality, outside of this dimension, outside of this universe. In fact, outside of all architecture, universal architecture and constructs, we are omnidimensional. This is why Jesus Christ said, you are all gods. And if you just knew it, you could do what I do and you could do it better. And so you are already as your higher self, the being that you truly are, powerful with all the powers. It's about aligning to that. That's what the high vibration means. It's about finding ways to connect to that and then all the lights turn on. So you want to know what you are. And I assume Trisha what she's asking and I'll stop lecturing the people. I'll start preach I'll stop preaching, but yes. I assume what she's asking is what she's strongest in in terms of her abilities. And so um as I tapped into that, the one that is an, the that is lighting up. I mean, I just got right to the third eye and it was the, uh, like the clairvoyance of the third eye. I mean, the third eye doesn't just manage clairvoyance. It manages all of the clairs, but it did show up as an opening to it. So this essentially with it coming through as clairvoyance means that that is the perceiver that is most available to you or strongest, most easily. So if you know that you are a strong visualizer, you have a strong, in your inner world, you, you're, you are visualizing and, you know, seeing and feeling pictures in that way, then um, what that speaks to is, yes, you would then be able to discern spirits of light, angels or ancestors, or it could also speak to that movie screen showing you um, what is helpful as an intuitive message for the person, a healing message. That's what I got about the, her specific um, ability at this time. Yes, and... Um... Whatever meditation practice you have at this time, if you have one, um, if you don't have one, you need one. <laughs> and if you do have one, you need to bump it up. Um, mm -hmm. I agree that I, I have the, the faculty of clairvoyance, but I don't feel like the projector is, is on in a sustained way, um, mm -hmm. meaning sometimes it comes on and sometimes it's off. And so what you want to do in order to keep the projector on, if that's your desire, is to work with things like meditation. And so if you meditate maybe three times a week at this time, let's bump it up to five times a week. If you meditate... For five times a week for 20 minutes, let's bump it up to six times a week for 40 minutes. Just like increase that time that you spend in meditation because truly meditation is the cornerstone of the evidential spiritual life. And when I say evidential, I mean we see evidences. We start to see miracles. We start to see things actually appear in our life and manifest when we meditate. So committing to a meditation practice is going to 
um, strengthen this particular ability, which I do think is, is probably uh, at the fore. But again, you have all of them. And really, if you can just not focus on just what you're strong in and instead of focus on the quality of your vibrational life, that turns them all on for you and you become even more evidential and powerful. Join Trisha Carr and I for the 2019 Intuitive Intensive starting the week of March 18th, 2019. This 12-week program is designed to activate and blast open your psychic abilities so that you can intuitively read yourself and others. Spaces are limited, so check it out at the link below and register today.